Western civilization is what gave the world pretty much every goddamn liberal precept that liberals are supposed to adore. Let's go back to Bill Maher, who I think is, he's, I don't know that he'll ever vote the right way, but he's having his red pill moment. Let him have it, here he is. And finally, new rule for all the progressives and academics who refer to Israel as an outpost of Western civilization like it's a bad thing. Please note, Western civilization is what gave the world pretty much every goddamn liberal precept that liberals are supposed to adore. <laughs> Individual liberty, scientific inquiry, rule of law, religious freedom, women's rights, human rights, democracy, trial by jury, freedom of speech. Please, somebody stop us before we enlighten again. <laughs> And since one can find all these concepts in today's Israel and virtually nowhere else in the Middle East, if anything, the world would be a better place if it had more Israels. Of course, this message falls on deaf ears to the current crop who reduce everything to being only victims or victimizers. So Israel is lumped in as the toxic fruit of the victimizing West. The irony being that all marginalized people live better today because of Western ideals, not in spite of them. Mar <laughs> Martin Luther King used Henry David Thoreau's essay, Civil Disobedience, to help shape the civil rights movement. The UN's Universal Declaration of Human Rights owes its core to Rousseau and Voltaire. Cleisthenes never showed up for a sexual harassment seminar. <laughs> But without him, there's no democracy. The cop who murdered George Floyd got 21 years for violating his Fourth Amendment rights, an idea we got directly from John Locke, who no one in college would ever study anymore because he's so old and so white and so dead. <laughs> Western. Yes, that's how simple the woke are. It's never about ideas. If it was, would they be cheering on Hamas for their liberation? Liberation? To do what? More freely preside over a country where there are no laws against sexual harassment, spousal rape, domestic violence, homophobia, honor killings, or child marriage? This is who liberals think you should stand with? <laughs> Women there should be so lucky as to get colonized by anybody else. And for the record, the Jews didn't colonize Israel or anywhere ever, except maybe Boca Raton. So that's what we're up against. And Bill's in that, that little sliver of liberals, let's say, who are still trying to do it. But if you care about any of those things, and look, I get it. The, the, let's say, most radical Islamist and Marxist portion of those protesters, maybe they don't care about those things. They either want us to live in some caliphate or they want us you know, the Marxists want us to all live under their thumb or something. But if you watching this right now, if you have a cousin that's confused about this stuff or a child who's confused about this or a parent or whatever, that's not really like a psychotic ideologue, like lunatic. You have a little window right now to, to de-brainwash these people. You gotta deprogram these people and you better do it quick or it will keep getting worse. Everything will keep getting worse. So we have to strengthen the people who are fighting it and, and we have to make sure that the people who are going down those roads know what the truth is.